how would you describe how you're playing right now? Because it you just don't look like the Damian Lillard we've come to know. It, I mean, I think um, right now I'm I'm not really sure. You know, uh, I know that I'm. Uh, the only thing I could do is look in the mirror at myself, you know, and um, evaluate myself and just not playing well enough. You know, I don't think it's uh, it's worthy of going into, you know, what, you know, the, what goes into it, anything like that. I'm on the floor and uh, I'm just not playing well enough. And, you know, if we're going, if we're going to be better, I know that um, our team success is, um, you know, parallel to, to me being, being better. And I just haven't played good enough. Do you feel like your body's able to play at your regular level? I mean, I, I'm on the floor. That's the best. That's the best way for me to put it. I'm on the floor because uh, I feel like I need to be. That's that, that's what gives our team the best chance to win. Um, and I'm, I'm doing all the things to to allow myself to be on the floor. So um, I just got to be better, man. You know, uh, obviously I get a lot of attention. You know, I, I get a lot of attention from defenses. It's physical. Uh, so, I mean, it's some shots that I feel like I should make. I, you know, haven't been making. Um, like I said, a lot a lot goes into it. I just, uh, the only thing I can tell you is I got to I gotta play better. Aaron Pinterest, the Oregonian. Damien, your injuries have been well documented this season. Is it beyond that? Is it it's just the grind of the season, how it's, how much weight you had to carry with Nurkic and CJ out? Is fatigue just settling in at this time of the year, or is it simply you just have to play better? Um, I mean, I wouldn't say fatigue is setting in. You know, I think uh, even though the games pile up, you know, we're playing, you know, more back-to-backs, and, you know, the game seems like they're more bunched in. I don't think it's, it's fatigue. I, I've uh, performed well with fatigue. Um, you know, I think I, I would say it's more, you know, just dealing with the nagging things um, than anything else. But, um, I mean, I, I wouldn't say it's just being fatigued. Thanks. Jamie Hudson, NBC Sports Northwest. And where would you say the frustration level is right now overall? I mean, if we're not frustrated, that's a problem. You know, we haven't, we haven't been anywhere near good enough. You know, I, like I've been saying, in stretches we have been, you know, when we when we put our minds and our hearts into it and we making those energy plays and we getting extra possessions and we getting stops um, and we making the, the extra pass, making the right plays, you know, we have stretches of it and good things happen when we have stretches of it. But um, for the most part, we just not, you know, putting enough possessions of that, that type of basketball together. And, um, you know, when that happens, you have, you know, what we've what we've had lately, you know, losses. And then even in close games where, you know, we give ourselves a chance to win, um, we still, over the course of those games, have moments where we're not doing those things, you know, the, uh, you know, not playing smart enough sometimes, you know, our decision making, you know, we're doing like small things throughout the game that that hurt us. And then we get in a dogfight or we get to the end of the game and it's like, you know, the, the last two possessions could go either way, but if we had done things better throughout the game, maybe we're not even in that position. So, um, like I said, if you're not frustrated, if it's not frustrating for you to, to be going through this and, uh, um, you know, having to, to deal with it and, and feel, you know, loss after loss and, you know, knowing that these are games we need to be winning, um, then that's an issue. So, I'm, I mean, I'm sure everybody's, you know, extremely frustrated. Mike James, NBC Sports Northwest. Hey, Dame, I, I know you weren't directly involved in this, but we don't get a lot of control over who we get to talk to after games. What was going on with Dylan Brooks and you guys out there? Last game? Well, uh, yeah, there was some last game, but it looked like tonight he was into it with Mello, and it looked like CJ. I don't know what happened tonight. Um, I don't think I saw – what happened with him and CJ? I think Melo. I was on the bench when Melo uh, and him got into it, so I don't really know. Um, the other night, I was just running down the court, and um, you know the ball was on the opposite side of the floor, and he just kind of ran over and tried to shoot me an elbow, you know. Uh, so when he did that, I kind of pushed him in his back, and you know the referees was trying to calm us down, and I was just like, man, look, I don't, I don't talk trash. 
I don't get into all the back and forth stuff, but you know, that was a, a discussion that, you know, I told the refs, just get, you know, handle it, you know, control it, just keep an eye on it and control it because for me, this don't have nothing to do with basketball. And I told Dylan Brooks that, you know, I said, man, you're going to play physical and play how you're going to play, but don't run up to me and do no, don't do no shit like that. Cause it ain't go, it's going to go one or two ways. And uh, we don't want it to even go. We don't want it to go in that direction. And I don't either. I'm here to play a game. So that was that, you know, it wasn't really a big deal to me. Hey, Jamie Cord, coin. Dame, I know you get a lot of attention on the court and the, the physical aspect of the game. You carry a lot of the weight for this team, but in the locker room, you're one of the leaders too. And so what do you feel like is the, the mood or the cohesiveness of this locker room right now? How, how well are you guys communicating in these losses? Uh, we, I mean, we communicate. Um, you know, it's not like we're coming into the locker room going our own ways or anything like that. You know, I think everybody's just frustrated. You know, we... Um, I think when it, when you experience you know adversity and and hard times come, uh, you know the easy thing to do is to do that you know to point the finger or get mad, uh, you know maybe get a little bit more selfish uh, or you know try to find a way out or try to find something to blame, uh, you know. But I, I wouldn't say we've done that. You know I think I I keep a pretty good pulse on on what is what's really going on. Um, so, I, I, you know, I think the locker room has been fine. You know, I, I'm just trying to just let people know that, you know, usually when, when you're going through something tough, you know, when it, you're not playing how you want to play, you know, it feels like, it, you know, the end of the world, you know, it just feels bad. You know, it just, it's just a bad feeling, you know, to be in this right now. And I'm just saying, like, you, you never know when it's going to turn. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not. I'm not saying that just to, you know, be saying the right thing. I'm just saying, like, while you're in the middle of it, the easy thing to do is be like, you know, to go in a major panic and um, feel like nothing can be fixed. You know, when you just you just really never know when when it's going to click or when you're going to, you know, come out of it or turn the corner. So you got to make sure that you keep your mind on right and you got to uh, make sure that you, you know, you're strong enough in your heart and in your mind to deal with whatever comes with those those hard times. And I think that's that's been my message. Like, we got to stay with it. You know, it usually gets a little bit harder, uh, something that you got to fight through um, and push through before you can, you know, kind of get through stuff that that happens like this. And that's been my experience my whole life. So uh, and that's kind of been my message to the team. And, um, you know, I think that's the way we got to go about it. Obviously, we're not going out there losing on purpose and missing shots on purpose and stuff like that. Um, but we got to keep moving forward. You know, we got to get better at a lot of things, obviously. But, you know, we got to keep pushing forward. And, you know, even if we were to end the season terribly, you know, like we got to keep moving forward. And, uh, you know, I, I just feel like you just never know when it's going when it's going to happen. And uh, I know that it will happen for us, but we our job is to continue to push forward and and not, you know, go our separate ways and, you know, make it harder than, than it is, than it already is. Last question is coming from Jason Quick with The Athletic. Dame, I'm not generally a, a big fan of these, but have you ever given thought to, to holding a team meeting, a player's meeting? I mean, not really. Yeah. I mean, I honestly don't know what, we, we spend more time around each other than we spend with our families. You know, after we have film and we do our shooting and our lifting, you know, we always end up in the locker room, sitting at our chairs, talking, you know what I'm saying? And we'll go from the game the night before or the next game. And then we'll talk about, you know, something we saw on Instagram. And then we'll start talking about something that happened in the weight room. You know what I'm saying? So like, I don't really, I think it's, you know, some depending on what kind of team you on, a team meeting is, you know, sometimes people make more of it um, than it actually, you know, does serve the team. And I think for us, we communicate, you know what I'm saying? Like we, we talk about these things, you know, so it's not like, all right, it's a team meeting now. So like these conversations are going to be a bigger deal right. than, you know, how often we already do communicate. So, I mean, that's the reason why I haven't been like, oh, a team meeting is the answer. All right. 
And, and just to clarify, so do you believe that a team can flip that proverbial switch, say like come playoff time and boom, you guys have it and things are clicking? Do you believe in that switch? No, no, no. no. I don't think we can. I don't think we're, uh, you know, we're not the Brooklyn Nets. You know, the Nets, they got, you know, super star power to where like, you know, the ability of that team. One day they can wake up and you in a series with them in the first round and they just get hot and they can run you out of the gym, you know, for a whole series. Like, I don't think we're that team, but what I'm saying is like, we've been in a ditch, you know, we've been having a hard time and we're playing, you know, we're trying to figure out a way to get out of it. And I think if we just give in to the adversity, give in to what's happening, you know, then you're going to keep going south. But I'm saying if we continue to work our way out of it, you never know when like, the favor is going to flip into your favor and we start playing better. And then we get on, you know, you win a game and then you win two and then you start rolling. So I don't think we can hit a switch. I'm just saying like, because we're not getting the result that we want that we can't stop doing our work and we can't, you know, let our minds wander and, and start to go somewhere else mentally. You know, I think we just got to stay in a fight. Sometimes you just got to stay in a fight, man. And Right now, we just got to stay in the fight, you know, regardless of what, you know, you guys might say about us or what fans might say or, you know, whoever that's watching, you know, nobody, it's easy for people that aren't directly involved to like have an opinion and, you know, to see it one way or see it another way, but like we the ones in it, you know what I'm saying? The criticism is warranted, you know what I'm saying? The praise is warranted, but like at the end of the day, like, we the ones in it, so y'all can't save us. What y'all say not gonna save us. Y'all can't make us play better. Y'all can't make us play worse. We just gotta keep fighting. We gotta find our way out of it, and we either gonna come out of it, or we not. And you know that's that's the bottom line. We just gotta keep doing our work, man, and move forward and let the chips fall. You know what I'm saying? And I say that understanding that we got it, we do have to do a lot of things better and I got to be a lot better than I have been if we're going, if we're going to do that. But we, I mean, it's, it's real adversity. I will tell you that, you know, it's real adversity. And uh, I haven't played well enough as to answer your question, but I also think y'all know me well enough to know I'm not going to shy away from it, you know? So regardless of how, what result or what happens, I ain't going to shy away from it. I'm not, um, worried in my heart or worried mentally, you know, because I know regardless of what happens, like I'm, I'm going to be able to handle it. So, you know, we just got to move forward.